I just uh, want to talk to you about one of our favorite guns here today and that is uh, it's a Browning X-Bolt in 300 WSM which is Winchester Short Magnum. These guns were, um, the, short, the theory behind the Short Magnum is a, a guy in the 70s and started inventing, he was a bench shooter which is a target shooter, started inventing a, a shorter fatter cartridge, I think it was in 6mm, correct me on comments if I'm wrong. And he started winning a whole lot of competitions and so a few other people said what, what's he doing differently and so they started getting his caliber and they were shooting and winning too and then all of a sudden the firearms companies came on board and said why are these guys winning these competitions and so they did a whole lot of studies and they found they found with a short fatter cartridge that the powder was all closer to the primer and so it burnt more consistently and that every time you fire there's an explosion there and that makes a shudder down the barrel so the more consistent that explosion is the more constant that barrel shake is the more accurate the gun is so they develop these cartridges and that's that's the theory behind these short magnums the other thing I think probably which I suspect is they can make it in a stock standard gun because they don't have to adjust the bolt. They don't have to adjust the bolt draw for a shorter cartridge, whereas a, a normal Magnum's a lot longer. The other part of this gun that we've got on here is an Eliminator Scope by Burris. We've found this this great for what we do because it's got a rangefinder in it. You point, you push this laser rangefinder, and the scope is calculated to our bullet and it works out the drop and it gives us a guide in here for the wind we have a we have a wind meter in here so we can sort of work out what's going on with the wind and it, and it gives us a basic 10 mile an hour calculation so you have to do a little bit of math to work it out from there it suits us because we don't have to um, we don't have to carry a rangefinder plus have calculations somewhere else on an iPhone for the drop of the bullet and if the animal's moving maybe running 100 meters bang you just push the button again works out the drop goes 200 meters away you just push the button again works out the drop so I would say the optics on these probably aren't quite up to the scratch of those really good tactical scopes but for us for what we want to do we love it it's excellent we've got a silencer on here so I think that's quite important with a Magnum because you fire this gun without the silencer on, it's like someone punches you right in the face. So, so you don't, that's the last thing you want when you're out hunting. And for trying to get accuracy, if every time you pull the trigger you're scared the gun's going to hurt your shoulder, you just get worse and worse and worse at shooting. But you can fire this gun all day with that silencer on it, and it's great. The bullets we've got here, we're reloading our own bullets because we found the difference in accuracy between loading your own bullet and the factory bullets was quite considerable you know we end up with a group probably something like this at 300 meters and with the factory loads there'd be flyers every now and then there'd be one that was way outside so we're using a a boat tail soft nose lead nose 180 grain bullet we wanted to get the heaviest bullet we could because the heavier the bullet the less wind deflection and um, we're using a lead nose bullet because once you're shooting out at long ranges if you're using some of those ballistic tip bullets and the velocity starts dropping and the pounds per square inch where they hit is less these will punch right through whereas the ballistic tips will just explode on the outside of the animal and the animal will get away so that's the, that's our thinking in that um, we love this gun it's completely useless as a bush gun now because it's too heavy but as far as an X-Bolt for a bush gun, they're a great gun, they're light. The reason why I like it in the stainless steel synthetic is it, you can go on a five day hunt, it can be raining, it doesn't rust, the barrel does, the wood doesn't swell up and, and alter the accuracy. The only thing that is get a bit rusty is the bolt and I usually just put a bit of oil or butter on that if it starts rusting well away. Great gun, love it. We've got We've got uh, three Browning rifles, we've got a, a 308 and a bush gun that I've got. Sam's got a 7mm08 and an A-bolt. And I just love 
I just love the the bolt. The action is really quiet. If you're sneaking up on a deer, they're dead quiet. I love the balance of the guns. I mean, this gun's not balanced for standing shooting because it's got all this junk on, but just an X bolt or an A bolt up like that. Beautiful, beautiful guns. They're not even that expensive either, you know. So if you want a good production gun with deadly, generally straight out of the box accurate, not too expensive, I recommend Browning. We love them. Oh, just to finish the video, I'll show you a few clips of some of the some of the shots we've got with this gun. So I thought it's probably not probably not practical to shoot some of these sheep in front of you <laughs> in front of the house. It's just not not how it's done. Can't really be bothered um, butchering them up. Uh, and the butcher, the butcher's busy for Christmas. The old, these old what's his name down there? Shade. Coco's still going strong. Yeah, growing, growing a lot, isn't he? Yeah. Little Coco, Doing zoom well. in on Coco. Doing well. It's pretty well, happy too. That black one there with Coco. That's oh, Coco's, Coco's out of here. That's Coco's mum and that's Coco's <laughs> nana down there. Coco's yeah, mum. That's Coco's nana there. Where? There. Yeah. And then see over there. That's the great. That's the great grandmother down there, way down there. Where? Like that half black one. Oh down yeah. There. Down that's there. the great grandmother. Hey. Eh? Four generations. Yeah, four generations of black sheep in the see? family. Shoot him again. He's down. He's down, yep. Yeah. He just rolled. Oh, no. Yep, here we go. Oh, no. Yep, I'm ready. Dropped him. Dropped it. Dropped it. Dropped it. Yep. Yeah. Whole axed it. Oh. <laughs> yep. Wait. No. Yep, yep. he's, he's down. Other, other one. one. Other one, no? Ready? Other one. Ready? Ready? It's Still there. He's still there. Say your time. Counted like a hit. Must have been because it was on the skyline. Yeah. He's coming down. Must have been a hit. Coming on our side. Dover, I think. Must have been a hit because it was on the skyline. Oh, there it goes. Down yeah, it's coming down. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Watch Holy it. Holy shit. Watch it. That's steeper than we thought, Holy huh? Holy shit. We got him, boys, but I don't know how good his horns are going to be left after that. Love that the gun. other one's still feet, like the other standing. One's still move, bro. That had a high, eh?